Oh. Well, I was gonna. Is it recording? Okay. I was gonna show you that they're close, but here's another example. Fitbit Sense on the top, not keeping up with Apple Watch and Garmin Venue 2 on the bottom. Show up the stairs. These are the stairs. I guess I'll go ahead and walk slash run up these and we'll see how the heart rate is at the top. Alright. So as you can see, hopefully, the Apple Watch and Garmin Venue 2 exactly the same. Fitbit Sense is doing its drop. So it's not that I was wearing it higher up or I had anything else on my wrist. That's how it is. And you can see this is Garmin Venue 2 higher on my wrist, right in line with Apple Watch. So your results may vary, but this is what I always see with my Fitbits. So I don't personally trust Fitbit for my hiking and other exercises where I go up hills and get my heart rate up high, but I love Apple Watch Series 6 and Garmin Venue 2 is the best Garmin wrist for wrist optical heart rate that I've ever seen on a Garmin, so I can recommend these two. Personally, I don't have good experience with any Fitbit, so. Got the Garmin Venue 2 here, the circular one on the left, and this is the Apple Watch Series 6 on the right, closer to my, closer to my wrist. You can see that the heart rates are both pretty high, and they're both very similar within about five beats per second. And just to show, this is the Fitbit Sense, which is on the brightest setting. I can show you that if you don't believe me. Uh, the brightness max. And it is saying I'm at 112 heart rate, whereas these are still saying 156 and very in line with each other. This is the stairs I'm going to be walking up. Zoomed in there for you so you can see. And just in case you think there's some difference between me I don't even know if you can see that. Some difference between me walking up the stairs in real time, I'll show you. See, we're still at 154, 153. I'm gonna walk up these stairs. Alright, I'm going to start walking a little faster. So the Fitbit Sense is now up to 148, which is still below my other watches around 170. Go a little faster, hold it in the other hand. Look at that! 106 for Fitbit, 180 for Venue 2 and Apple Watch 6. So you can't say it's because it's higher up on my wrist because here's a test. You can't say it's because I can't even <laughs> can't even talk right now, I'm so out of breath, but Fitbit is not recording my heart rate, it says 108. I don't even know if you can see that. 105. And these are still 188, 187. So, if you do any kind of outdoor exercise where you need a bright screen and accurate high intensity interval heart rates. 
I cannot recommend the Fitbit Sense here, but I can definitely recommend Garmin Venue 2, Apple Watch Series 6. Now your mileage may vary, but all I can tell you is my experience. And this has been consistent over multiple hikes, multiple days, wearing them on multiple wrists in multiple configurations, as in the only wearable on the wrist, or switching between higher up and lower on the wrist. It's all the same. This Apple Watch and Venue 2 have both been extremely consistent with their heart rates and the Fitbit Sense says 98, I don't know if you can read it, 105, 107, 100 there. Very inconsistent. All right, I hope this helps you make a decision and a follow-up if you saw my previous Sense versus Versa 3 video. I don't do these tests just once and report. I do multiple tests and this is what I find in every single test. All right, I'm here again for one more test. Just so you can't say that it was my wrist. So, this Fitbit's saying 112 and again, this is brightness max. I don't know, usually I thought I could read it better than that, but today it's not doing much. It's 113. I've got switched here. Now I have the venue closer to my wrist, the Apple Watch on the other side, and I've been standing here for a little while, but they're both pretty consistent, around 157, 156. All right, I'm gonna start going up this set of stairs now, and then you'll just be able to see, again, if I change the positions of these watches, and I'll switch my hand just for another fairness. Try to jog up these. All right, we've got 135, 141, 146 on the Fitbit, and we're in the 170s already on the Garmin and Apple Watch. Fitbit's at 137, 141. And we're at 180. See, both of these perfectly in line with each other. Doesn't matter if they're on the different wrist and if they switch position closer and farther from my wrist. Sorry for the glare. And we got 143 on the Fitbit, which is on its max brightness, by the way. And the Apple Watch is on the medium brightness. All right, I had a lot of car go by, sorry for that. I'm back, I'm walking up a steep hill. And I did realize why the Fitbit wasn't being bright. The screen wig feature was turned off. So it should be a little brighter now. Still doesn't look super bright though. It's definitely brighter than before. It says I'm at 111. Whereas both Garmin and Apple Watch say 185, 184. Oops. Sorry, it is real conditions here and focus distances. <laughs> Yeah, 106 on the Fitbit. And you should be able to tell from my breathing that I am out of breath. So 185 is definitely closer to more accurate to my current heart rate than 123. 
there, 123, 126. Compared to still in the 170s. So again, I can recommend Garmin Venue 2. That's the only Garmin I can recommend for on-wrist heart rate. Of course, with Garmin, you can connect to a chest strap for the most accurate heart rate, but I find these two are accurate enough for my needs. Apple Watch Series 5. And I think 4 was also good enough for me, but I would recommend the 6 at this point in time. And just to show Fitbit's down to 93 and 95. So again, your mileage may vary, but this is my real-time experience. It does not matter what wrist I have it on, what distance from my wrist bone it is away. I cannot recommend Fitbit heart rate for higher intensity interval type workouts. But I can highly recommend Apple Watch Series 6 and Garmin Venue 2. Alright, if you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more wearable content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Alright, just to be fair, when I am walking and I'm not out of breath or at my peak heart rate, we have the Fitbit Sense here, around 150. And the Garmin and Apple Watch, similar, 150, 152. So I'm not saying it's never accurate, but when I'm in the above 150, it is rarely, if ever, accurate. Alright, so here's an example where they are all together, but as you can tell from my breathing, I'm not really working too hard, so this is kind of at the limit of where the Pipette Sense keeps up for me. Alright, so we've, let me take this off. We've got very similar heart rates, around 148. Let's quickly stop and show here too. Switch the Apple Watch to this wrist with my Fitbit. I'm not really out of breath, but they are all keeping up pretty well, although you can see the Apple and Garmin are tracking a little closer to each other. So it's not just the Apple and Garmin being on the same wrist. Now I have them on different wrists, they're still giving the same. And Fitbit is lagging a little and there does its drop. Hope you can see that. Oh, and now it just jumped up, see? It has the ability to get up there, it just doesn't do it. But, see? I'm not changing anything. They're all different right now, so. But again, when I, I wouldn't normally just stand here, but I am just trying to demonstrate that the Garmin and Apple Watch seem to track each other better and don't have as big of drops as the Fitbit. So I'll go ahead and start walking here again and we'll see how it goes. All right, just for you guys, I did a little running. Here you can see Garmin and Apple Watch both above 170. Fitbit down at 150. <sighs> now they're both at 178, the other ones. And they're on different wrists. So, And the Fitbit is closer to the wrist bone. So, I don't know what other tests you want me to do. This is what I see in all my tests. Apple, watch, series 6, Garmin, Venue 2. Accurate no matter which wrist and how I have it placed on my wrist. Fitbit sense. 
same thing, not accurate, no matter where I put it, which wrist, how far away from wrist bone, nothing. So, you can obviously make your own by decision. Fitbit has its pros in other ways. It's still the best for sleep. I still wear mine every day to sleep. But for workouts, I trust Apple Watch Series 6 and Garmin Venue 2.